we're going to wake up with Jacob this morning at the Chamber of Music. Let's see what we can expect. Jacob? Hey guys, good morning. We're out here at Trinity Lutheran Church where we'll be learning all about the tricks and the trades of the organ and something called the Box Lunch Series. So be sure to keep watching Daybreak only on Pro News 7. Steve Kirsch, thank you so much. Jacob Bradford playing around this morning. Uh, he just struck a chord with a lot of us. Uh, he, he's out. <laughs> no bad pun. Uh, teach us a little bit more about music this morning. Jacob? Hey guys, good morning. We're out here at Lutheran or Trinity Lutheran Church. I got my words mixed up. I'm out here with organist Michael Johnson, and what we're going to be learning, learning about is kind of the organ and how you guys, I mean, there's three keyboards on this thing. And most people think the piano is complicated and with cause just one keyboard and you have three. We do, plus the pedals. Plus pedals. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and sit down and I want you to play just a little bit of it. Because I know there's a certain piece that you've been kind of playing for me all morning long. Now, what is it? This is the, the very beginning of the Toccata in D minor. Most people know this as Phantom of the Opera. Okay. floor shaking. You can feel the floor shake. <laughs> now, when you had it all turned on, you had lights all over here and lights back up here. Now, what do these lights represent? We did. These lights are all stops. So when you pull out a stop, it actually pulls out a rank of pipes. And then those pipes actually are the ones that play. So this is an eight foot principle. And then if I pull out four and two and a mixture, then I get more sound. So the more lights we have on, the bigger the sound. All right, well, thank you, Michael. And when we come back, we'll be learning about a little bit about those pipes that are sitting over there and something called the Box Series Lunch. So be sure to keep watching Daybreak. Guys, back to you in the studio. Chopsticks, that's all I yeah. got. <laughs> Love the sound of an organ. And there's so many different yeah. ways it can be played and sounds it can be it makes, and they have to update it and upkeep it and keep the... Tubes in the organ pipes, perfect pitch. It's amazing. Well, one sound that I could deal without is the uh, Gangnam style. Thanks. And uh, welcome back. We're going to wake up with Jacob Bradford this morning. He's uh, kind of playing around and learning a new instrument. He certainly is. Jacob? Hey, guys. Good morning. We're out here at Trinity Lutheran Church. Well, we're here with Michael Johnson, who's an organist. We were playing that earlier. But we have these pipes in our hands, and these come from organs, correct? Correct. And which way do they usually go in? I mean, are they sticking out this way? It or? sits up like this, and the air comes in this end, and comes out the mouth and out the top. Okay. And what, yesterday when I came in and I was visiting with you, you had me actually playing through, mm -hmm. the, through them. Can you show, show me how to do it? Sure. So you just, the air from the organ goes through the end. The sound comes out here at the mouth. And then if you cover the top, the sound is an octave lower. Oh, wait. Give it a try. Okay. Blow in that in. There you go. And then this flute, this is a wooden flute here, and it has a different sound. Okay. There's a certain way to hold it? Just that would okay. be fine. And then we have a great big principle here. Let's see if you have enough air to, to <laughs> fill this pipe up. And this right. is one of the pedal pipes. Full of hot air. Okay. <laughs> So on a big pipe organ like First Baptist or St. Andrew's here in town, they have around over 3,000 pipes, 3,000 to 4,000 pipes. The organ at WT has 3,661 pipes. A small organ like ours has just about 400 to 450. The organ needs to match the building, so you obviously don't want an organ too big for the building or the congregation wouldn't be able to sing. Right. Well, let's talk a little bit about the... Box Lunch. Okay. Now, the, what exactly is going on? The Box Lunch series is sponsored by the American Guild of Organists, our Amarillo chapter, and we have a concert every Friday during Lent. And starting next Friday, the Friday after Ash Wednesday, 
we kick off our series at First Baptist Church with Ella Jane Tracy. And then every Friday after that, we go to a different church. So we go to St. Thomas Catholic. We go to St. Hyacinth's Catholic. We go to St. Mary's Catholic. We go to First Baptist Downtown, St. Andrew's Episcopal, and we end up here at Trinity Lutheran. And you play at this one. And I play here at Trinity. All right, guys. Now, when we come back, I'll be up there by the pipes for this organ, and I'll be feeling the vibrations and the wind coming out. So be sure to keep watching Daybreak. Guys, back to you in the studio. I really don't want him to break anything. Like, no. I always get really nervous with those boys playing around. And with if them. those pipes get just even smallest dent, it can change up the sound. They have to go back in and use a special tool and, yeah. and be careful. Okay, let's check the... All right, Steve, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We are going to wake up with Jacob this morning. Learning a lot about organs and, and things that go on and, and what's involved with making sure they're in pitch and tune and all that. So let's throw it out to Jacob Bradford Live this morning. Jacob? Hey guys, good morning. We're out here at Trinity Lutheran Church. I'm here with organist Michael Johnson. And before we start playing and uh, get up there by the pipes, I want to take a look at your shoes because they're different. They are different. And then what is the, there's a point to why we're, they're so small and squished. Well, organ shoes have to have leather bottoms and leather heels because when you play, you slide your feet on the pedals. So a regular street shoe with rubber on it, it just wouldn't work. So we cram our feet in these little bitty shoes so that we can not hit more than one pedal at the same time. And that's why my shoes weren't that's right. sliding that's because correct. they got the rubber insoles. <laughs> but let me go ahead and I'm, I'm going to get up here. Okay. Now, do you mind playing a small piece? Sure. Uh, so that way I can feel what the, the pipes actually feel like. Now which pipes do I need to stand at? Uh, these ones right over there on okay. the left. I'll stand over here. You can actually feel the floor, can, uh -huh. and you can feel the, the wind. The wind comes out of the pipe from the, from the blower unit. Now, what are these right here, these silver ones? These silver ones are principal pipes, and the gold ones are principals, and the mahogany ones behind there are wooden flutes. All right, now let's go back into the, to the Bach lunch that you'll have going on. And the Bach lunch series starts a week from this Friday at First Baptist Church, 1205 to 1230. Bring your Bach lunch. The church will provide tea, water, and coffee and a place for you to eat your box lunch after the concert. All right, well, thank you so much, Michael, for coming out here with us so early in the morning. Now, guys, if you want to wake up with Jacob, be sure to find me on Facebook at Pro News 7's Jacob Bradford, or you can email me at jbradford at kvii.com. I'd be happy to come out and check out your business or events, so be sure to Facebook message me or email me. Guys, back to you in the studio. Jacob, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We're going to check out.